Before you blend the arm to the IK and FK chains, you still need a controller for the clavicle. As the arm lifts in IK or FK modes, you still need to compensate with clavicle rotation for a natural motion. Create a three ring controller as you have done before. Name it Zombie Left Clavicle Controller. Align it to the left clavicle, pivot to pivot, in position and orientation. Here you have a situation. If you want to keep the controller aligned with the clavicle, you'd need it to remain large enough to protrude from the character's geometry. This might make its position awkward, as it certainly will clash with the right clavicle controller when you get around to creating that one. Instead, exit sub-object mode and relocate the controller somewhere above the left shoulder. Granted, it's not aligned with the clavicle, but you know it's oriented the same way, given you've used the line tool to that effect. Adjust the scale at the spline sub-object level, and adjust also its thickness if need be. The clavicle bone is already linked to the third spine bone, so go ahead and link the controller to that same bone as well. To remain consistent, and since we adopted the blue color for FK actions, change the controller's wire color to a blue color of your choice. As you've done many times previously, use Alt and right click to freeze the transforms on the new controller. Finally, Select the left clavicle and constrain its orientation to the new controller. This way, you have the means to manipulate the clavicle as you animate the motion of the arm in FK or in IK. In the next movie, you blend the arm solution between IK and FK actions.